So without further delay, uh, Dr. James DeMille. Thank you. So thank you, Aaron. And uh, also I want to thank the technical staff uh, who has been doing such a wonderful job in, in uh, facilitating this conference. So thank you. Uh, this lecture is one that I gave to the water conference in Bulgaria. It's uh, basically new information, new discovery, which confirms Wilhelm Reich and the Orgone Energy Accumulator and shows a very profound water structuring phenomenon that exists uh, within the accumulator, which adds to our knowledge about how this thing actually works. These devices work showing uh, effects I, I can mention. Uh, Reich showed in his experiments that for cancer mice, uh, there was a boost of 300% in their longevity um, as opposed to a control group. 300%, three times as long they lived. Now, if he would have said 3%, they would have given him a Nobel Prize. But 300%, you know, then he, they burned his books. And here's more of those uh, from separate different runs. You can see the accumulator group in every case is, is larger than the control group. Fairly typical effect. Also, healing of wounds. This is something that uh, has been documented by physicians in clinics in Germany where they allowed this kind of thing to, to, to be used. Now, we're, one of the aspects that Reich raised also was that the blueness of certain natural phenomena was an expression of the orgone energy. And he came to this firstly because of those bions with the blue color, which I showed you. And secondly, because uh, when he made high vacuum tubes and charged them up inside or the orgone accumulator, it took less electrical energy to get them to glow than normal. And when they did glow, they glowed this beautiful blue color. Now, I've been able to do that. I've replicated that experiment as well, except I've been able to get them to glow with only a few hundred millivolts, and that's with my hand. You stroke it with your hand, and they flash with this same blue color. I may have some photographs in this slide set I'll talk about, but look at some of these things. Glacial ice, we all know about that. What's, what's going on with glacial ice, that it glows this profound blue color? It looks like it's glowing. To, to, to you, to me, am I correct? It looks like it's glowing. It's not like it's, uh, is it really absorbing sunlight and then re-radiating away uh, the blue frequencies that are scattered inside of itself? It's a little too intense for my, my basic perception to accept that idea. This is M31, Andromeda Galaxy, where they overexposed the central part in order to show better uh, the blue halo surrounding it. Okay, now, now you can probably see it, right? The blue color here connecting to, I think this is M32, the other one of its two companion galaxies. But look over here, look over here, look over here. This is black, totally black. The blueness of the halo you talk to astronomers about that. What's that blue halo? Well, they go rather silent, which is what I found. There's nothing really that can explain it, except I would say it's the blue orgone energy field surrounding the galaxies. 